well from the land to flatten out mailboxes. <laughs> My mailbox got took out by an 18-wheeler turning it into the sawmill. Anyway, Merry Christmas, guys. Here we are. Christmas Day. So what are we going to talk about? Well, I have no clue. No idea what this magical day is going to bring, but the Joker is ready. <laughs> Let's dive into it, shall we? Okay, guys, take number three, two, four, six, eight, twelve. Had to pull over because nothing seems to be wanting to go my way today. So we're going to try this again. Oh, man. <laughs> Sometimes you have those days where just things don't make sense. But if you are new here, welcome in. My name's T-Ball. I shoot motorcycle-related content and, well, any kind of content, really. So, welcome back to the channel, guys. As we're rolling down the road on the Joker, if you are new here, I've got my entrance all screwed up, but if you are new here, uh, I ask that you take a couple minutes to watch some of my videos, make sure that I'm right for you, and if I am, maybe consider giving old T-Bone a uh, like and a subscribe. If you're old here, welcome back as we roll out on the Joker on Christmas Day, guys. Man, I tell you, the 2023 has completely just flown by. Uh, you know, I know there's a lot of people, and I've been watching some stuff go on on uh, YouTube. I know there's a lot of people out there that just don't seem to have a lot of the Christmas spirit about them, but... You know, I'm not going to try to hold you here long. I know this is Christmas, and I didn't, I wasn't really sure if I was going to try to put a video out or not, but, you know, I kind of felt like I wanted to, uh, just to kind of maybe brighten your day up a little bit if you are having a bad day. I, you know, that's, I kind of feel like, uh, sometimes what gets lost in the spirit of Christmas is sometimes we forget that, you know, Christmas is just Christmas we start trying to make it more than what it needs to be you know it gets uh, people get interested in gifts and giving and you know uh, sometimes it's just time to be with your family and to get a little nostalgic in life and it's to that nostalgia I want to talk about so if you are a Gen X guy or maybe even a baby booner uh, I have found on YouTube that I have been in a rabbit hole here lately of old Christmas shows from when I was a kid. Uh, Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell Sisters Christmas specials. Uh, man, just a lot of Christmas specials that was done back in the day. Johnny Cash used to do a Christmas special. Uh, I think Waylon and Jesse did a Christmas special. Sometimes what you need to find for Christmas is just the nostalgia to help you get into the Christmas spirit. Now, you know, we can all talk about the doom and the gloom and the bad and the really, really bad, but, you know, to me what Christmas boils down to is family, and it boils down to the kids having a good Christmas. That's, you know, me and our one have kind of always, she, uh, she's had to deal with it when it comes to me with Christmas. Uh, I've always been okay with Thanksgiving, but Christmas, Christmas has just always been a kind of a time that I've just always wanted to try to get through as fast as I possibly can, and, uh, you know, I, I do have my own reasons for that, uh, not to go into it here, but I started looking for a little bit of Christmas spirit this year because there are a lot of things going on in this job, not just in our lives, but a lot of people's lives out there that we care about and that you know we're family and friends and you know there's just a lot of stuff going on in everybody's life uh not just ours but you know i, I started thinking back to when when it really meant something for for christmas you know it seems like, and I'm not going to say this always happens or it's always this way because 
by and large it's not this way always but uh it seems like sometimes we get into uh not really that we just hate christmas but that we just really start dreading it to come around and if you are a, a newer subscriber for gen z go check out some of those christmas specials that i mentioned just go to youtube and just type in christmas country christmas specials and i mean there is kenny and dolly's country christmas a, a christmas to remember and if you're looking for a good christmas movie dolly did one couple of christmas movies but the one that i really love is a, a movie she did called smoky mountain christmas her and lee majors lee majors was the actor from the fall guy uh made a fun movie made it made a fun movie uh a good story to be told and I, it's kind of those things that i go back to because it takes me back to uh when my mom of course was still alive and we would be at my grandma's house in Ducktown and there'd be some snow flying around and we'd be watching those movies and then in the later years of course Cheyenne was born, me and R1 had that at December the 14th and then we had uh, Teixeira came along December the 21st so we had great things happen during Christmas but I've always been just a little standoffish at Christmas time and it's not because I don't just don't want to be involved in nothing it's just that I don't want to I don't want to seem like I'm trying to bring people down because I'm not a big Christmas person I just I really am not but uh you know uh I started trying to look for a little bit of Christmas spirit because here's the thing guys we had a lot I have a lot. I'll just say I. I have a lot to be thankful for this year. You know, in that my channel's growing here. Regina's health's getting better. Uh, just taking the chemo now. Uh, the kids are doing good, great, healthy. You know, there's just a lot to be thankful for. So I, I'm trying to get into a little bit of the Christmas spirit. But of course, you know, today's Christmas. Christmas soon be over with in a few hours, but uh, check out some of those things, guys. Uh, even after Christmas. I mean, the holiday spirit don't really end until after New Year, I don't suppose. But New Year brings a whole new uh, bag of challenges, and uh, you know, you just hope that your New Year goes better. I hope that everybody has a better year this coming year because I know there's some of you there that are maybe even in the chat right now, the premier chat, and I know y'all have been struggling a lot this year and I just, you know, my, my prayers are with you, my thoughts are with you, and my hopes are that things will get better for you as 2024 comes around. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had to make a pit stop, but as was as I was saying, I just hope we can all find a Christmas spirit, but I do want to uh, touch base on a couple of things. Like I said, I'm not going to keep you long on this video, but uh, I kind of have taken on a pretty good load this year with club and with, you know, masonry. I uh, took a big position in the lodge. Uh, so I just have to have everybody's patience with me. Uh, you know, working a full-time job, being around, you know, taking care of family stuff, work stuff, log stuff, club stuff, and still giving this the attention it needs. Uh, I take it on quite a load this year, but honestly, if I didn't think I could handle it, I wouldn't have done it. But, you know, there might come times where I just have to have y'all's patience with me and just to bear with me a little bit. Try not to overextend myself. That's, you know, I, I've always been one of those kind of people who can carry a pretty heavy load. Uh, but there, when uh, R1 got sick, I had to dump a lot of the load that I was carrying outside of just work and making sure she was good. So I kind of felt comfortable this year with taking on a little bit more than you know what I normally had been doing for the last couple of years but you know it just calls for patience I mean it's just 
not y'all, not just y'all having to be patient with me, but gotta be patient with myself. You know, I get frustrated about things, but just have to keep chugging forward. But guys, I'll tell you what, I just wanted to jump on here real quick and tell y'all Merry Christmas and hope you're having a good holiday season. I know, uh, Hooligan had been saying there in the comments that his mama had been wishing for a white Christmas, so I don't know if Alabama will get any snow, but maybe. I know the weather here in the mountains have been pretty rough the last few days. Teen, at teen mornings. I, when I left the house to start shooting this content, it was only 44 degrees. So I had to break out all the good gear and get it on. But Merry Christmas, guys. I really hope you did have a good Christmas. And thank you for coming in, spending just a few minutes with me on Christmas Day here. Guys, I'll tell you what, this is where I'm going to drop this video. Uh, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Remember to hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when old T-Bone throws a video up on YouTube. But guys, until the next time, y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And hey, thanks for watching.